There's a lot of chatter in market today on torfication of woods. Goes by a couple different names, heat treated, baked, torrified, roasted, all that really essentially is the same thing. And what they do when they torrify wood is they put it in a vacuum press and then heat it and remove all the water and other things in the wood so that you've got essentially just the honeycomb of the wood left and you don't have that moisture stuck in the wood. So when you buy a piece of wood for a guitar, it's left at about 8 to 15% moisture. And what happens over time is the guitar ages, all of that moisture and stuff sort of dry out of the guitar. If you go into a guitar dealer and you find an old Gibson from the 50s and play that and then you play a newer Gibson, the guitar is going to sound significantly different. It's going to be louder, more responsive. That old Gretsch guitar that I worked on uh, in Nashville, you can hear a clip here. One of the brightest, just liveliest guitars I've ever heard. This guitar, essentially the wood is older, it's more responsive, it sounds better. Taylor has a 600 and 800 series guitar that used uses torrified lumber in the top, back, and sides. And those guitars sound outstanding. So we're, we were planning a torrified acoustic guitar and I wanted to review this wood that I got from American Specialty Hardwoods. What's really cool about American Specialty Hardwoods is that they have different types of lumber that have been heat treated. So this is a piece of alder, this is a piece of basswood, this is eastern hard rock maple, and this is, I think, soft maple, different type of figuring. And you can just feel the wood as you're playing with it. It is so much lighter and more responsive in terms of tap tone than just a regular piece of wood. This same piece of wood would probably be double in weight versus it being torrified. All hardwood and lumber here in Chicago had some heat treated ash that I bought a couple of years ago. And essentially that's the same thing. It gets a little bit darker in ash, but it dries out the body significantly and it's significantly lighter. So a piece of Northern ash is what they use out of baseball bats. And this piece has been heat treated and it's significantly lighter. It's a little bit easier to machine. It just doesn't have all that same material in it. And it's really significantly different. From American Specialty Hardwoods, they have this basswood, and I don't like using basswood anymore for guitars. It's too soft, it dents too easily. Even though it's really light, I just don't like the way it feels, and if you dent it or zing it, it looks terrible. This is a piece of basswood that's been torrified, heat treated, and it's significantly lighter, and it's got just a different ring. You can just, even playing with it, you can hear, it's just got a different tone. If you had knocked a piece of basswood, really wouldn't sound like anything. But this piece rings a little bit. And so when you machine basswood, you get all those fuzzies everywhere. This has been heat treated. And you don't get those same fuzzies everywhere. So when you route and machine, you get like sort of that tear out in the wood. You don't get that with it being heat treated. So I would probably use basswood again in its heat treated format than just basswood by itself. American Specialty Hardwoods has a great selection of torrified woods. I like alder a lot for guitar bodies. It's sort of perfect in terms of weight and properties in terms of machining and how easy it is to work with. But when it's been torrified here, it's significantly lighter. I'll definitely be buying some more woods from these guys moving forward. They are not sponsoring this. I actually spent 300 bucks on my own to get this wood and just wanted to show you guys some torrified lumber since it is the rage uh, and I think it will continue to be the rage. I know Gibson used some torrified maple blanks when they got in trouble for importing illegal rosewood. I think that was one of the first adaptations I had seen in a, sort of a mainstream manufacturer. There's a couple acoustic builders that have been using this stuff for years and torrification has been around for I think 100 years as I was reading online. I would be a little bit careful of buying off of eBay. I know there are some guys that are doing this in their house and baking it in their oven and that's not really the same thing. And don't try that at home because your whole house is gonna stink. Essentially you're burning the wood at 200 degrees for a couple hours. It's not gonna go well. I was really 
tempted to try it, but I knew my wife would kill me. Just want to do a quick review of some Torfied Lumber as you'll begin to see that, I think, on more guitars moving forward. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.